As you know by now, our planet is in a climate crisis. We've all heard the bad news, again and again. Now some good news. A report on climate solutions written by the world's leading scientists has just been released. And here's what we need to solve. The emissions. In the next eight years, we have to go from here, where we're currently headed, to there. To half global emissions by 2030. And then continue towards net zero emissions. Seems impossible? Well, it's not. According to the IPCC, we have all the tools we need to at least half global emissions by 2030. Let's look at those solutions. This is the IPCC menu with all the options to reduce emissions in the near future. The longer the bar, the more potential. Solar and wind could deliver the biggest emission reductions in the next eight years, together with the protection and restoration of natural ecosystems like forests, peatlands and coastal wetlands that store carbon from the atmosphere and climate-friendly agriculture coupled with shifts to healthy plant-based diets and overall energy efficiency measures. These are all things that Greenpeace is actively campaigning on. Half of this potential comes with low or no costs, and a lot of it with negative costs. It means that investing in those solutions will save money compared to current developments. Look at all this blue here. It is all related to more sustainable mobility and efficiency in buildings. And here's where the most blue is, solar and wind. Why? Because the costs of solar and wind have been falling dramatically. Now, undercutting the cost of fossil fuels almost everywhere on the planet. Together with storage and flexible solutions, it's a game changer. Solar and wind, through different means of electrification, can now replace fossil fuels in transport, industry, buildings, and so on, if we allow them to. That is, if governments push fossil fuels out of the way. We can have more with less, better mobility, shelter, food, and products for more people with less energy and resources. If we are smart with how we design and use infrastructure and technology, and we harness our potential to change our societies, keeping in mind the core principles of equity too. According to the IPCC, all such end use measures combined have the potential to cut emissions by up to 70% in the next three decades compared to current trends. So, we could meet the energy needs of all with half the amount of energy resources. It's about designing green, walkable, and bikeable cities with shared and smart mobility. It's self-sustaining buildings and better use of floor space. It is healthy, plant-based diets and reduced food waste. It's avoided flights. And it's the better use of consumer products, reusing, repairing, and recycling stuff, and much more. Let's be clear, this is not about individual behavioral choices, but rather about changing systems and incentives to deliver equitable, just, and sustainable services for all. So what are we waiting for? None of this will happen on its own, not with government's current targets and policies. They are not driving money where it needs to go. We need at least three to six times more investment into solutions annually in the next few years. The biggest needs are in developing countries and in land-based solutions. Instead, money keeps flowing to the fossil fuel industry. This is all fossil fuels we can't afford to burn anyway, because there's already enough fossil fuel infrastructure to take us beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius if we don't phase out these plants early. It doesn't have to be this way. We can change all this. The story of the solar and wind breakthrough is a story of people making the impossible possible by insisting on their leaders to act and now we need to take that to the next level. Science has given us the tools. Now we need to unite across borders to ensure governments put these tools into action. It works. In recent years, the number of climate court cases has increased rapidly, doubling in just three years. In the last year alone, groundbreaking victories against big polluters have been achieved. This is citizens using science as a powerful tool for change. People uniting to make the impossible possible. This can be you.